Hi, this is Daryl Webster, a cloudsmith for smartstuff.co.nz, and today I'm going to show you how easy it is to create and publish training videos with Microsoft Link and SharePoint 2013. A lot of us have attended Link Online meetings and watched webinars recorded by Link, but have you used it before to create publish, and publish training videos or induction and demo content? The potential here is for organizations who use Office 365 to create their own induction websites and training videos. It's easier to watch a movie than it is to read a book, but I find that if you use a combination of both, you're, you're pretty good off. So here's some new features. Link 2013, it saves recordings as MP4 files, which is great because you can upload them to YouTube as well. You can drag and drop your recordings into SharePoint libraries. Uh, that's another feature that HTML5 offers. And with HTML5, you can embed and play videos. So you no longer need Flash or Silverlight. You can test your video, uh, your browser at HTML5.com. So how easy is it? Well, let's take a look. Well, I've got a blog here, and I'm just going to begin to do the recording using Meet Now from within Link 2013. I've started up a conference call. And what I'm going to do now is select the content that I want to share. So I'm just going to share the program, rather the browser where the, the, the um, blog content is. By doing that, I can get it to center around just that content. So now that that's shared, I also have to click record. So I've clicked record, and now I've just spliced in a sample, well, exactly what I've recorded. Um, within the link online meeting. So here's the blog and I've prepared that. Um, there are a couple of things that I have to do to be able to upload the movie file into a, a library. Um, first of all I have to, at the site collection level, change a setting, a site setting in there. Um, and that site setting is called the SharePoint Server Publishing Infrastructure. So it's way down the list here. And I've just enabled that, or activated it. Second place to activate a site setting is also the site where you're actually going to hold the video file and um, present it. So I've done that at the blog site level. And now I'm going to change a setting called the SharePoint Server Publishing feature. And I'll activate that. So by enabling these features, what I'm going to end up with is an asset library called Images. Now, don't be fooled, this can hold more than just images. It's going to hold video and audio as well. What I haven't quite figured out yet is how to get thumbnails in there for videos. So I will get back to you about that. So now that we've um, created that library and we've activated the features, I've um, stopped the link recording and what I'm going to do now is get it to render. So I'll just bring up my link conversation window. I've got to stop the recording. I've got to uh, stop presenting as well and hang up the call before it starts to process. And there will be a little pause before it starts processing. Uh, that's not a big deal. For the purpose of this video, I've skipped over the progress bar. So here I am stopping, presenting, hanging up the call. Get rid of that conversation window. And short that it'll skip over to completed. Depending on how long the video is, it may take some time. So what I'll do now is I'll browse to where that file has been um, rendered and saved as an MP4 file. And I'll also get my images, rather video library, asset library ready to be able to drag that content in. If I want to find where that library is, I can just go to that site content and um, get straight into it there. So I've got that ready to be able to drag the file over. And I'll just drag and drop. And you see how it highlights the whole frame there. So that's uh, it's uploading and saving and just about ready for me to use to embed it into my blog file. I'm 
Right, upload complete, one added. So yeah, just another mention there too. I still have to find out where to change it so that the thumbnail will present. The thumbnail is quite important because I want to be able to embed and manage this post. So I'm going to do that now. We'll go into it and edit the post. And because I've enabled the options in the SharePoint server publishing, I now have the ability to insert video and audio. So I'm going to insert it from SharePoint, where we uploaded it earlier. Select my video. And then it goes, an HTML snippet. And that's about the point where I want to be able to put the thumbnail so that we can uh, present that and it makes more sense. You can see it easily uh, for the content that it is and it's more easily recognizable from within the library. So I'm going to publish that article. And now we'll view it within the blog. Very simple process. And of course when you're viewing this um, you can uh, you know, view it within a full screen if you wish to. It takes a little while to buffer it. So there you have a recorded session of what I spliced in a little earlier into this um, instructional video. You can adjust the volume, you can get into the embed code and adjust certain things in there too. So SharePoint 2013 has some great social features as well, which you can make use of to be able to get your content across and get some feedback. You can like the video, you can email a link, you can follow it, and all those sorts of things will link back to your my site and be able to get some, uh, you know, social feedback within the organisation. I want to see organisations really run with this feature and, and these capabilities. So let me know if you've created something similar for your organisation, and if you plan to use my method, post your comments and get in touch. Thanks for watching.